I don't know who this message is for, but let me tell you, God does not care. Or we can say, God don't care. And let me tell you what he don't care about. God does not care about what other people think about what he told you to do. He don't care what them folks said. If he told you to do something, why are you listening to the naysayers? People who haven't even accomplished what he's, you know, asking of you to do. That don't make no sense because they haven't stepped out on faith. They're trying to not allow you to believe God in faith for what you've been praying for or what he has told you to do. Let me tell you something else. God don't care about what your bank account look like. And I say that regarding when he has told you to do something and you're like, but Lord, I don't have the funds. He owns everything. He didn't ask you to do something and say, but wait a minute, let me, you know, well, never mind, since, you know, your bank account looks like X, Y, Z, I guess I can't use you. No, that's not how he operates. When the Lord wants you to do something, he will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Not according to yours. It's not about what your bank account looks like. <laughs> it's not about what your employer is paying you. He doesn't factor all of that in. He can get to you whatever it is that he needs to get to you in order for you to fulfill the promise that he has on your life. No, he don't care about your bank account. <laughs> he doesn't even care about like your, your fears and doubts. I'm not saying he's not a loving God. He's so loving, but he's like not considering, considering that he doesn't want you to consider that either because that's not faith. And without faith, it's impossible to please God, right? Faith without works is dead. You have to step out on faith. That's how Peter got out the boat. He stepped out on faith. It wasn't until he like took his eyes off of God, off of Jesus, that he began to sink. And in our day-to-day -day life, that could be an example of, oh my gosh, a bill came in the mail. How am I going to pay this bill? God is like, here, focus, focus on me, focus on me. I got this. I got this under control. Stop, stop looking at all that. Okay. You know, we as humans, we, cause I raised my hand, we get so uptight and so bent out of shape over like everything. I know me, I go to one to 100 real quick. <laughs> God is patient with me because he knows that's my personality. All the while, he's like, oh, man, girl, would you chill out? I don't know if he talked like that, but that's how I'm, I'm saying it. Um, but yeah, when he wants us to step out on faith, he's not considering all this extra stuff. You know, I saw a video. I don't even know the lady's name. I was scrolling and she doesn't have arms. But that lady was in there cooking some food with her feet. Seasoning. I mean, I mean, I'm a I cook to live. I mean, and my children are not, you know, they're they're flourishing. But this sister girl without arms was doing the thing. So God had already knew what her life was going to be like, because the word says that we were predestined before we were in our mother's womb. That, that lady did not consider stopping her life because she didn't have arms. And here you are, here I am, able-bodied, you know, two arms, two legs, you know, healthy and strong. And we're like having all these doubts and, well, woe is me and how can I do this and how can I do that? Don't let the enemy fool you. 
Don't let him trick you out of the blessings that God has for you because you can do this. I don't know what it is that God's calling you to do, but you can do this. I say in my videos, I'm pushing you. I am, I'm your girl. I am pushing you. <sighs> you know what else God don't care about? God don't care about your tears. Not in the sense of like, say if you're mourning because you know, that's different. But I'm talking about in the regarding like, Lord, I can't do this. <laughs> and just whining and complaining. God is like, okay, have your moment. And when you're done, let me know if you're ready to trust me. I I'll sit here patiently and just wait. Because he knows we're human. We got to have our little moment. I've had plenty of moments. <laughs> <laughs> plenty of moments and he's just so kind and he's such a gentleman and he just waits you know sometimes you might offer a little tissue like okay blow your nose all right tell me when you're over it because tears don't move god obedience faith moves god so no you don't have the big the, the whole picture of what you know you're supposed to do it's gonna come you know, once you get the moving, like Abraham didn't know, you know, God said, go, God said, go. Abraham was like, I mean, I don't know how it was back then. I can't imagine. I'm pretty sure it was some stuff left out because I can't see. I mean, God just saying, go. Abraham just packed up and they had a, a whole lot of like people and animals and everything that they had to pack up, you know, to just go. And he's just like, okay, let's do this, you know? I know if I was back there, I would have been like, where are we going? Like, Lord. But the crazy thing is, like, God even did that to me, you know, uh, with moving to where I am now. God was just like, go. I didn't know a soul. I didn't know a soul when I moved the first time. And I didn't know a soul when I moved the second time. But yet and still, God was there when I got there. You know, he met me. And he'll meet you wherever it is that he's trying to take you. Not necessarily a place, but wherever he's trying to take you in the next step in, in your life. So, stop all that crying. Because he don't care about all that. <laughs> he cares about your faith. And... We, on a daily basis as humans, to try to build our faith up to get to, you know, have great faith. We're all given a measure of faith, but you only need a pea-sized amount in order to activate heaven. I know you get that. Come on. I have it in me. It's in you too. But we let outside factors and outside noise discourage us from moving forward in the promises of God. We got to stop doing that because... Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And there's so much in us that he, God has put in us that he wants us to give to others. He wants us to be a blessing to others. But if we're sitting in fear and sitting in doubt, it won't happen. God wants you to trust him. And so maybe, you know, You've been dealing with this internally about trusting him. And then poof, this video and other videos popped up on your, you know, for me page or whatever. That could be a sign. It could be a sign. You could have been asking for confirmation. And this could be one of them. So I'm not saying that God does not care. He cares about a lot. And some stuff, he's like, I'm going to need you to just obey. Okay? Stop playing and obey. Because you're prolonging your, you know, you get into your blessing by you having delayed disobedience. I know we only have a few more months in 2024, but let's practice not having delayed obedience let's be 
begin to believe God for what he said in that moment and start to act on whatever it is that he has told you to do. And the more you begin to obey, you start to build your faith muscles. Cause you're like, wait a minute. I remember when I activated my faith in this situation and God came through, I know for sure God's going to come through again, you know, in another situation. And each situation builds on top of itself. And then you're building your faith and you're pleasing God. See how it all just comes together? Well, be encouraged. I always like to end it with that. Be encouraged. And, you know, just know God don't care. He cares about you. He does love you. But all this human stuff that we try to put out there, God don't care about all that kind of stuff. Because he already knows that he has your back. He just wants you to realize that he has your back. I mean, if you're facing a situation, know that he can handle it. You might can't handle it. But he, he can handle it. So you got to give it to him. I have so many testimonies that I can't wait to share with you all. Um, I'm just an example. I'm just a human. I bleed just like you. One, I put in my pants one leg at a time. So I'm no better than you. And I love to hear you guys' testimonies too, you know, in the comment section. So I appreciate, you know, when you guys comment and we get to interact. But God is so amazing. And he loves us so much. He loves you so much that this video came to you. Just like other videos have come to me. Just like other videos have come to you. He wants you to hear something. Stop running from what he told you to do. Stop running from your health. Yeah, because we're speaking life over our life. Hmm. Yeah, words have power. Remember that. Be careful what you say. Because you can manifest what you say. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So once you hear the word of God, you got you to gotta activate that. When you activate that, you're pleasing God. God hears those type of prayers. Well, I'm going to go. I love you guys. Thanks for listening. Yeah, have a blessed day.